morning everybody you can hear from our voices that we're like oh, morning everybody no morning everybody <laughs> we're going to Mohenjo-daro this is day number three and we're going to Mohenjo-daro and to other places towards Bahaulpur so we're pretty excited Mohenjo-daro was like a big is a little a big spot on our list to visit and I can't wait to show it to you guys so let's go We are inside Mohenjo-daro guys and we're ready to go to see the beautiful things inside so I'm gonna show you as much as possible like as much as we understand from the explanations of our guide and um, yeah so far it looks pretty green let's see how the site is going to look like it reminds us a little bit of Persepolis even though here is like more green but so guys, we finally made it to Mohenjo-daro. This is the entrance and we're going inside the complex. This is supposed to be the oldest civilization on the Indus Valley. More than 5000 years old. Let's check it out and let's see what it's all about. This is Princess Gigi who is now doing a vlog thing and she's acting like a famous YouTube celebrity. I'm not. Surrounded by her posse. <laughs> Yes, she is the queen of Mohenjo-daro, the princess of hope. <laughs> because I cannot be the one of Malochistan. Yes, <laughs> of course, <laughs> yes. For security purposes, Gigi is now surrounded by two guys. And they are making sure that she is very secure, that nobody is uh, attempting to uh, disturb the peace and sanity of her vlog. And now we're going more deep inside Mohenjo-daro to check out what is happening. Hey guys, so Mike is gonna do what he knows better. Go on top of the place and explore around. And climb onto walls and take a good viewing angle for cool pictures and maybe videos. Okay guys, so this is the complex of Mohenjo-daro. It's very big as you can see, behind me there is a stupa, or what used to be a stupa, also the yeah, religious place of the Buddhist, for those of you who don't know what stupa is, and Gigi followed by his posse, her posse, and the rest of the complex, which is massive, huge. And now we're gonna explore a little bit around these places. Okay guys, please don't mind me. I had to cover my head because the sun is pretty harsh here. We have, I think, 30 some something degrees. And yeah, everything is like super, super hot. But it's okay, it's manageable. You can get like an umbrella from the entrance and you can explore this site peacefully. So let's see now what the guide wants to explain to us. Gigi is talking right now with her posse and uh, she's gonna give you the historical details and the uh, interesting historical facts about this place. Since I'm not into uh, following her around, I just wanna do it my own way. I'm gonna give you the unofficial Michael's point of view about everything. So I hope you like it. Uh, one first impression about this place that I like to tell you is that as soon as you pay the ticket at your entrance you're basically free to go wherever you want. You can explore, you can check out places, you can go here, you can go there. Nobody's gonna tell you anything. You pay the ticket, it's like your house. 
you can do whatever you want except stupid things like try to vandalize this place or throw some trash which people still do from time to time so please take it back with you and put it in the bin because it's they have here they have bins here so use them and this place is there uh, for the bath. Ah, okay, good. So where the small pillars are, there's the place for the box. It's very similar to something we saw like in Roman baths, right? It's, uh, they have these pillars and between the pillars there's like the fire and, and that the place for the food. Water. For that the food one? storage. Okay, that one that is not excavated, it, like the far one? Yes, yes, far okay. one. For the food. Here are the homes where the people used to live and on the other side are the factories where they used to work at and here is the stupa where they used to pray at and around there are many bushes and many trees where you can guess what they might be doing <laughs> and this is where the army was staying so the barracks Interesting. So, this is part of a 5,000 year old civilization. Whoever says that Sindh is boring and they should not come to Sindh, ah, why would you go to Sindh? Come in Pakistan, go to the north, go to see the mountains. Man, this is the place where all the interesting history and archaeological artifacts are in a place, in a valley, more than 5,000 years old. I mean, if you don't know about the country's history, how can you know about its future? So, come to Sindh. Come to these places. Check them out. Explore them. It's okay. Nobody's gonna judge you. So, this is fascinating, guys. It gets even more interesting. So. We have specific things all around the religious center. The religious center was built like 1,500 years later than Mohenjo-daro. And you have places and quarters like very strictly delimited for each um, kind of purpose, right? So you have the military one, the industrial one, the homes. You have the college, the educational level. So I think this is something unbelievable. So guys, this is more or less the best angle that you can find here at this place, where you can observe most of the things especially the stupa and the area surrounding it so yeah, because we don't have a drone we cannot fly from up but I think you get the picture Divinity Street. Oh my god, they, they even put names of the streets here. Like of the alleys you can find. These are the stairs or original. Original stairs. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if Gigi told you, but uh, Mohenjo Daro is coming from a mound of dead men. Very interesting choice of name. This is a 5,000 years old swimming pool, guys. 5,000 years old swimming pool? I mean, come on! So, picture this. You're on top of the stupa. You prayed. You fulfilled your duties with Buddha. And then you want to go for a swim. But where would you go? Ha! Boom, baby! Well, what perfect place to go in this swimming pool here. The water would come from the stupa inside this swimming pool, which is very nice, as you can see. And it will flow down through this canal all the way down outside. Not a bad place for a swimming pool, right? I am Michael from Dodo Explorers and I approve this message. So as long as you're walking more through all these walls and bricks from 
Greek walls and the, through the whole Montenegro historical site, you discover a lot of things like the oval, sh oval well I showed you before, like the stupa, um, the bins, the pool, everything. This shows you guys that like this was a very very um, advanced civilization because everything they had, uh, they had all the facilities near their house and the kitchen and the baths and the washing rooms and everything like around their homes and wow <laughs> 5000 years ago that's that's incredible but michael i hear some of you say why would you come to this place it's just a pile of rocks and old ruins what is interesting about this place well guys just use a little bit your imagination i mean इस नगर को तहस नहस होने से तू बचा सकता है सरमन महम को सिर्फ ही तू रोक सकता ये मेरा नगर है वह इंचुदार you know, I have to, a confession to make. Uh, I lied. This is the best place where you can take a very good wide angle shot of the place. See guys, this is what I do for you to get the cool angles. I have to go on top of hills because I have no drone. But I will have a drone if you would like and share this video to your friends. Hey, hidden advertisement. No, really, no. Actually, we're not earning money out of this yet who knows maybe sometimes in the future but if you do like the crazy things that we are telling you share it with your people send it to your friends because this way we might do more and you might like it so have fun keep watching and yeah subscribe and do your thing this is the writing system so far used here but it's not yet uh, understood so it's undeciphered this is amazing Let me show you one of the best tools used in archaeological excavations that you will ever find. Look, 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 look. You will see next to the spade we have a camera. So this is the best tool for archaeological excavation. Tell me, how do you dig a hole with a camera? I'm very curious to know. You put the camera on the ground and then you start digging a hole or you dig a hole with the camera? I'm confused. Tell me in the comments. Samara was known to be like the queen of Mohenjo-daro. The original was, king of uh, his size. Big size. Big original king of his size. Original king. Yes. Priest king. This is the size. looks like a unicorn that i haven't seen before but maybe this is how the pakistani unicorn look like hey this camel looks happy he is smiling oh it's not a he i think it's a she because if it will be a he you would have had a problem explaining the double situation. Do you remember the old cartoons with Fred Flintstone when they were painting on the walls all sorts of animals and all sorts of cave paintings? Well, this is kind of that era of thing. Cool, right? 
So, there is a little thief that stole my walnut. Hey! You give me my walnut! Ah, oh, no! This is my walnut! Stop fighting with the Afghani birds! Guys, I hope you liked Mohinjadar and what we showed you today. Yes, she was the history part, I was the different part. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're happy to have been able to show you this. I hope you guys can also visit it. It's kind of hot, but it's worth it. Yes, but yeah, this is in life. You pay some price to see Mohenjo-daro. Yes, and um, we're saying goodbye from a 5,000 years old civilization place. And hope you guys will continue to Get in tune on, on our channel and comment, like it, subscribe, share it with your friends. All the good stuff. Like.